Okay, so picture that this large rectangle, this pink rectangle right here, is a large piece of metal. It's a metal sheet. And this pattern inside is what we want to cut out of the metal sheet. And we want to cut it so that we actually get all of these little individual pieces. And we can even specify the order in which we want the pieces to fall out. Um, but here we're going to pretend that maybe there are two big clamps holding this metal sheet in the air and a machine is cutting this out. So what path or what circuit or, or, or whatever does this machine take so that it can cut all of these pieces and all the pieces fall to the floor? What do we do? Well, let's say that we start here at the starting point. We'll call it S. Well, what we're going to do right now is, is and as we talked about in the last video on this, is the algorithm that helps us cut this out is actually the onion skin algorithm. And that's so remarkable, I think, that this works. Where with the onion skin algorithm, if we, if we try to find our circuit or path in layers, these pieces will all be cut out nicely and in an order that we can we can even predetermine. But here I'm gonna just I'm gonna actually follow the path and solve it using the, the onion skin algorithm and then we're gonna keep track of the pieces as they fall to the floor. So how does this work with the, the algorithm? Well remember that we what we might do first of all is just to find let me cho choose a different line stroke here. Find a path or a circuit on our, our map just go around until we come back maybe to the original point and that's how we start the onion skin algorithm right so we've got this outer layer and then what we do is we go back right and we say okay what what did I miss what haven't I covered so when I go along here I see that oh I, I haven't covered this yet so I cover this next and here I keep going and I come back and, and what's happening now is as I imagine it's a more complete circuit, right? I, I start here, go along, I include this loop, and then I keep going, and eventually I'll come around, but I, I missed all this stuff, so now I keep applying the, the algorithm. We're here now, what we're going to be doing is including another circuit that I missed, and if I go along here and here, I see that I've missed all this stuff inside, all this stuff in here. So what I can do now is either enter this path through this point, or, or through this point right here. Um, I'm going to choose to enter it down here. So I keep going. I see, oh, but uh, sorry. Actually, you know what? Go back, sorry. I just, I like to enter the, the inner circuit on the first point that I missed. So right here, I'm going to enter this and then come back. And now, really, the green loop, the bright green was my first, then this kind of army green, and then this teal. But the way that this circuit will look so far is I start here, travel along this circuit until I see this tail one, and then travel along here, finish this circuit, and then finish the bright green circuit. And it's a better circuit. It's not Eulerian circuit yet. It's not complete, but we're getting there. And then we keep going with this process. On this teal circuit here, I notice, oh, I, I really haven't hit this stuff in here. So, so let me do that. So... I'm going to run a circuit along here in purple. Again, it's not perfect, but we're getting better. So notice now that I would start on the outer green, this army green, teal, follow that, follow the purple, and then resume my original circuit to finish. But I'm not done yet, keep going. When I start to travel on this purple path, what do I notice? I notice that I missed this triangle right here. So gotta finish that circuit before I can go back to the purple one and I keep going um, when I reach this point on the purple line right I know oh I haven't traveled this circuit yet in here so I'm going to travel that and then the end will put this all together and then I go back but I know oh I haven't haven't actually accomplished this triangle here so I have to include that circuit so now let's follow the order and number the pieces of that as I cut them and just to make sure that I actually did tell this machine to cut in the right order. And we're going to number the pieces as they fall to the floor. So we start here, right? I'll draw a little arrow to remind us. Going this way. And we start to cut this army green. Okay. We come back up here. 
and our first piece is almost falling. It's this one right here, but we haven't actually, excuse me, completed it. And I guess what I'll do is let me retrace the edges with this new color. So I start here, go along, right, and I have to complete this this teal circuit. But even before I do that, I have to complete this purple circuit. Oh, and before I do that, I realize, oh, I need to complete this circuit. And our first piece is about to fall. There it is, number one. Okay, keep going here. Go along this way, come down, and our second piece is about to fall. So far, so good. And I, I say that because we haven't missed any pieces yet, right? We're actually able to keep cutting, and I come down here. And then our third piece is going to fall. And the goal again is to make sure we get every piece cut along the path that we're going. And then we come down here. Okay, keep going. And here we're going to actually come up. And I know I'm repeating this color right here, but I'm going to cut this inner triangle. And then our fourth piece is ready to fall on the floor. Okay, we're going to keep cutting. See this onion skin algorithm that is actually working coming back this way and now our fifth piece falls to the floor so far everything looks good I hope this doesn't fail on me here a lot of work into this one four five and then here's our sixth piece going to fall to the floor keep going come back okay now our seventh piece has fallen to the floor keep going here I come down this way, and our eighth piece is fall to the floor. Oops, that's the line tool. Our eighth piece, and almost done, believe it or not. Here, our ninth piece is fall to the floor. That's this little piece right here. Come back this way, right? We're going back to our original circuit or path that we formed. Back and up. And our tenth piece is fall to the floor. Bear with me. And then Right, we're going back to that original circuit. Our 11th piece is now falling to the floor. Oop, that was my, this is my backup drawing. We don't need that. Okay, we're going to keep drawing this. Let's see what pieces fall next. Here's our 12th piece. Our 13th piece. We'll label this in a moment. Our 14th piece. Our 15th piece. And our 16th piece. Whew, and our 17th piece. So I, I feel I feel right now pretty confident, and I don't think I'm making any mistakes here, I hope. So our 13th piece, and our 14th, and our 15th piece. Oops, and I said, oh, that's right. This is our 16th piece and our 17th piece. Wow, okay. So what we did to retrace is 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 find the circuit in this this design layer by layer, and by doing that, we actually cut all the pieces out that we need in the circuit. So find an Eulerian circuit. Using this algorithm down here, we can, we can cut apart a metal sheet and actually cut out all the pieces we, we need. All right, hope you enjoyed that.